Hey guys, it's Brian here. Today's video is going to be doing a video. I'm going to be doing a video on um, uh, the Honeywell Demco Vista 20P programming. This is a system that I'm installing for a customer. I just have it um, on the table right now after I'm doing some basic programming. So all I have to do is install it and then just mount the sensors. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do some basic programming on the system. We're going to be using, doing a couple wireless zones and we're going to be programming the function keys by default. The, the function keys will be programmed as fire, police, medical, but the customer wants it set up as fire, police, away, and stay. So I've already programmed this key, this uh, CD, to arm away. So as you can see, it's arming away. Shut this off. Alright, so this is a 6160RF because I'm doing wireless zones. Um, but that's already that, so I'm going to show you how to do function key programming. So what you want to do is you want to enter your installer code. Let's see if I can put this up so you're not so dizzy. Uh, no, it's not going to work. Um, all right, what you guys are want to want to do is punch in your installer code. Default is four one forty one twelve four one one two eight zero zero. To get into programming, it's just star two zero. What you want to do to get in function programming is star fifty seven, and you want to hit star five seven. It's going to want to ask what key to program. Uh, what you want to do is you want to hit um, the whatever code. So I've already programmed away. I wish I had to stay. So hit the hit the function key. It's already going to select D, which is the one we want. Hit star. Partition 1, star. Uh, key D function. It's disabled by um, default. So you want to do arm stay, which relates to 0, 4. So then we want to hit 0, 4 for arm stay. That's right. Hit star. And then we're done. So then we hit 0. Star nine nine. All right, so we're out. Boot up the system. All right, so we're good. We'll do a test. We'll hit the stay key, and hopefully, it should arm in the stay mode. Which it did. All right, so that's good. So then I'm just gonna disarm the system. All right, so that's right. All right. Alright guys, I'm going to pause the video, I'll be right back, I'm waiting on the, my other order from the Amazon to come, which is the sensors. I've already, or of uh, this 5816 has already come, I've already programmed it for the side door. So that's already good, and I'm just going to wait, it should be coming any second right now, I see the delivery truck. I'll pause the video, wait for the, sh wait for the package to come, and we're going to program a new sensor that Honeywell just released. It's the, hun uh, the Honeywell 58... Uh, 5800 mini. It replaces the 5811, which I'll show you. So these are the 5811s. These are now discontinued. The 5800 mini replaces them. So I'm going to pause the video, unbox the package, and I'll be right back. Bye, guys. Alright, hey guys, I'm back. The Amazon package has arrived, and I'm going to show you how to program a zone. And I'm going to show you how to set up the new. Honeywell 5800 Mini. Like I said, this is the new um, door contact that Honeywell has just recently re released. Places the 5811. Looks really cool. It has these new LED lights on it that shows you when the door's open. It's really cool. I I'm, I'm actually like it a lot. So, I'm going to unbox this, and I'm going to show you how to set it up, and I'm going to program it into the alarm system. And then I'll do a test. I'll arm the system, open the door, the alarm should go off. Alright guys, bear with me here. Hopefully you can see me. I don't know if you can. I'm just leaning this up here. Alright, so we're going to unbox this um, new contact that Amazon has sent me. Got like a two-pack for, I think it was like $38, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. Much These things are much more aesthetically pleasing than the 5816s. However, they do cost more money, but it is worth it. Alright, so when you open your package, look at that little small contact. Anyway, um, then you want to pull out the magnet. The magnet and the battery come in the same package. We'll open this up.
I already comes opened a little bit like that, the contact. I found this out when I was programming the other one. Put this in, battery's really straightforward. Just pop it in, plus side up. It just clicks into place. See the lights flashing on it? Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but it just flashed. Oh, and look at that. It's pretty cool. It has, it, it, like I said, it has little LED lights, which other, on their contacts didn't say, didn't have. And it even has a little diagram of what it does. It's these, oh, look at that. I'm just kind of fiddling with it. Activate it. And it just clicks into place. I don't know if this is the right side. Oh, maybe not. I don't know how this lines up. <laughs> Alright, it's clicked in place. See when I put the contacts together, the light LED goes on. Alright guys, so now we're going to go into programming on the alarm system. Like I said just before, the default code is 4112 and then 4112 and then we go 800 to go into programming. So, you want to come here, here's the keypad. 4, oops, hit that wrong. 4112. Eight zero zero. Now, zone programming is the fifty six menu. So you want it? <coughs> excuse me. Star five six. This is a wireless zone, so I prefer to set to confirm. You don't have to, but I like to. So hit one. This is going to be zone eleven. Then you want to hit star. Star summary screen. Um, this is going to be a parameter zone. So zero three. But if it was like an entry exit door, you could use zero one, something like that. But no, it's zero three. Perimeter star, star. Um, you guess you can keep like that. That's okay. But yeah, it's good. Star. Now I prefer to auto enroll it. So with that, open. Oh, whoa, open the contact. Didn't trip. Oh, there it goes. All right, so it automatically enrolled it like that. Then we want to do a second enrollment to confirm it, and then you want to hit star. Now it wants to transmit to confirm. Press star to skip, but just so you don't accidentally set off another zone in your house, I like to make sure. There you go. All right, so summary screen. Again, star. Program alpha, we're not going to program alpha right yet. I'll do that in a separate video or a se separate section of this video. So we're just going to hit no. And then zero, zero, get out of here. And hit star, nine, nine. All right, now we're su successfully out of programming. I'll trip the zone by faulting it. As you can see, it's star for false. I'll do that. I've already programmed the alpha descriptor, so this is back patio door. This is for the back patio of the house. Put the contact back together. System set. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to arm the system in save mode, and when I open the door, the alarm should go into activate set. I do not have the siren connected, so we don't have to hear the alarm go off, but you will hear the keypad um, activate. So hit the stay key on the left that we already programmed for. System is armed to stay mode. We don't have to wait till the SSLA expires because this is a perimeter zone. So just open this contact up. So you can hear the alarm sounding. To silence it, we'll hit the code plus off. Alright, so I punch in 1234 and then off, and the alarm has canceled. But like I said, or I haven't said this, but with all Honeywell systems, when you hit the code plus off once, it will only silence the alarm. The alarm is still being transmitted to the alarm company, and you still see that message on the system. You can't arm it. It's in the alarm state. So to clear this, we want to hit the code, and then one again, which will silence, which will reset the system, and we're back into the regular, right, um, normal state. Disarm, ready to arm, ready to arm it again, and um. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack everything back together, write down what, um, put everything back in this box, write down uh, which door this goes to, and that's it. Now, I do have another device to program, and that is the motion detector. However, I'm not going to program it until I install the system because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put this. Usually we put this device in the foyer or the family room, 
But like I said, I'm not going to program it just yet. So, that's it. Now I can pack everything up. We now know that the system works properly, and all we have to do is install the system, and you have a, a whole step left to do. Alright guys, so I hope you found this video informative. Bye-bye.